Hello Pebble. These things are really quite easy to test. So I've got a little file that I've just set up, the one that I showed you. I've translated those three into Bulgarian, or Google has done it for me anyway. I've got a translation memory <coughs> which is attached to the project, which is currently empty. So I've made sure that it was empty while I did the work. So, because obviously if I'm translating interactively, I won't be putting any of these lock segments in because I'm going to be skipping them, so they're never going to get in. So now I'm going to reactivate my TM make sure it's going to update and if I run a batch task and update the main translation memories <clears throat> so you have a couple of options here you could take jerseys of it if you wanted belt and braces and you could set this to approved or something and then you could say don't update approved so you could remove the translations approved for example and then it definitely wouldn't do it but if you want to just run with the defaults which is what I'm doing and just rely on the fact that they're locked and there's nothing in them and then we click on finish close we open my file if I go back to my TM and then refresh it oh, oh gosh I'm sorry that <laughs> refresh command how do I get rid of this the refresh command did something silly on my um, it was a shortcut for my screen recorder sorry <laughs> it did something else I'm just going to close it and double click it again there you go so I've only got those three in there so the lock segments even though I didn't translate them they're not put in there. I didn't have to put a space in there. I don't have to do anything. Just lock them. So I displayed so I can go to my display filter, which is what I did before. Um, found those segments by filtering on, um, where is it? Let me go and pick it up. because I can't remember what it was. So I put that into there like that. Used the regular expression, applied the filter and that found all of my Russian one, so then clicked on the top there and just press Control L. <laughs> Control L just toggles it, locked her off, and that's it. And then I can clear the filter and I can go to my filter attributes just to show you the whole thing while I'm here now. Segment locking, unlocked, apply it, apply the filter, and there we go. So it's a piece of cake, really. That should work nice and simply for you. It won't update into your TM doesn't matter whether you're working interactively or if you run a batch task, batch task afterwards. So long as the segments are locked, they're not going to be touched. I hope that helps you.